I tried to comment on one of your videos, but I don't think you understood me. You know, you seem to be a pretty smart man, but um, you know, you you was pretty negative towards me, pretty much like that lady was negative towards you. Um, I understand how you feel. I'm tired of making comments on YouTube that do make sense, and all the motherfucker can do is call me a nigger. I'm tired of trying to speak in a manner to where everyone can understand what I'm saying from different perspectives and somebody calls me a nigger. You know, I've seen a few of your videos and it's not that your message is fucked up or that you're a fucked up individual. You speak on what you see. And if this is what you see, then that's your reality. And nobody deserves to be called out their name based on their reality. Shit, my reality is this. Where I live at, most of the white people are homeless bums. Mexicans run amok. Yes, Mexicans run amok. And I know a lot of Mexican people who are tired of illegal immigrants. So I'm going to leave that alone because me and you already spoke on that one and you didn't understand where I was coming from. And you said some foul things. But I'll let that go because I'm speaking my opinion. Now when this lady, you know, said whatever she said to you and you know, that was fucked up. And this is what I do. When they drop the end bomb on me for no apparent reason at all, I go to the highest rated video and I ask them, why? Why are you calling me all kind of niggas and shit? What have I done to you to where you can look at me and say, I'm a nigger? Oh, he has a black hat on, a black shirt, black microphone. He's a nigger. No. This man is sitting here with a do-rag on with his woman having a discussion about how people fucked them over. How people say fucked up hurtful things like I tell everybody on YouTube. I tell everybody this shit. I think somebody's hooking us. They will say some faulty shit and we do another video. I appreciate this man. He got a video camera and he looks into the camera and he tells what he sees. He speaks his mind. And for that, he has to be a nigger. So, say for instance, when everybody white looks into the camera and says what they got to say. Guess they niggers too, then. Guess, you know, the whole situation is fucked. There's a total a lack of respect across the board. I can't show some of those people respect. I can't show some of those other people respect. I can't show some of these people any respect. And some of these people look just like us, a lot of them won't even get no respect from me because of how they carry themselves. Over the course of my 40 years on this planet, I began to see the stereotypes come true about black people. Yeah. A whole bunch of young black people act just like niggas. Not nigg uhs, nigg errs. They don't give a fuck. Their attitudes is all fucked up. What you gonna get what you got for me? Everybody trying to be like Debo and shit from Fridays. What you got on mine? What what you got on mine? I am so tired of rap music. Programming the white kids to shoot that nigga. I kill that nigga Friday. Whoop that nigga's ass. We get what we ask for. And we asking for these people to do this shit to us. We ask for them to call us niggas. And disrespect us. We ask for that shit. Not me and you. Not your girl. But whenever you go to the store and the shit ain't right... You nut up. I do it too. Everybody do it. We want a service. We want to be treated like our money is worth something here. Nope. Get treated like shit. Followed around stores and shit. Uh, I once worked at a, a fast food restaurant. We got robbed. I got out the store. Mexican lady got out the store. One other person got out the store. It's about midnight. I ran two blocks down the street. Do, 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 do. Your boy was gone. I was gone. I'd rather get shot in the back than shot in the face. 
I'm running. Do, 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 do. Gone. My friends are stuck inside the store. We're being robbed. Come on down, quick, quick. McDonald's on San Pablo Avenue. Come on in. Come, come on. I was interrogated from, say, about 8.30. I mean, shit. From uh, about, uh, I said about 12.40 to about 8.30 in the morning. Let everybody else go. They let everybody else. How did you know it was a white man? Because I could see his hand. How did you know it was a 45 Beretta or whatever the hell it was? Because I see it on TV all the time. It was big and chrome. How'd you know he was wearing a sweatsuit? Because everybody had their blue Adidas sweatsuits and shit on around that time. How long did you know this man? I didn't know him. How'd you get out the store? I ran from one end to the other. He pushed everybody back in the door, and I just kept on going to the other side. I was interrogated for hours. Mexican lady got out, dialed 911 too. They let her go. Mexican manager in the store. Let her go. Little Asian guy in the store. Let him go. I was the only one from the night shift interrogated to eight something in the morning. Is that fair? You know, there's been a few times where some stuff has went down. I'll be like, why should I even fucking call the police? Why should I even do the right thing? Why? Hey, it's gonna fuck with me. And that has happened. Several times. Several times. So, then on top of that, we got to watch the police whooping black people's ass and shit all up on TV. I commented on that video too. Before I even knew the people was black. And guess what the first thing I got on by my page? You stupid niggers always crying and shit. I didn't know those people in that car was black. See, when you comment on something, brother, they don't give a damn what you're saying. They see a black man. They can call your woman all out her name. They call you all out your name. They call me all out my name without even listening to the content of your video. I'm tired of it, personally. So people ask me lately, why have I been making so many white statements and white this and white that and white this and white jokes and white this and white that. It's because all the drama I get is mostly from white people. And the white people that I do have in my circle, most of them hate Mexicans. Most of the Mexican people I have in my circle hate white people. Why? I don't know. I don't hate nobody. But I know one thing, bro. No matter what we do, no matter how long we do what we do, we will never get respect from these people. And what I mean by these people, young black people, old white people, stupid Mexicans, dumbass people, and just all around fucked up people. The only people we will get respect from is our peers. Not in the court of law, though. Our neighbors at times. Some family members. And close friends. That leaves one standing. That leaves one standing. And this one right here only will give us respect because that's us. We have to give ourselves respect. And then once we finish... We can knock these motherfuckers out. But until then, all I can do is, is, is sympathize with you, brother. I'm tired of trying to say something positive and even attempt not to come off like a quote-unquote nigger. And that's all I get called, nigger. Black son of a bitch. You know, and it's not just frustrating. It is a waste of human time. Thank you, friend. They have been tubed.